Judith, meet your granddaughter. Judith doesn't look like amused at all. She's like, okay. What the freak is this? No. She wants to flirt with Glenn's dad? No. Julia, you are for the streets. <laughs> Guys, it's finally here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Welcome to part one of the Sims 4 generation. I mean, growing together. We are currently not in San Sequoia, which is the new world. We are actually in Delso Valley, which is where our story begins. Now, I don't like long intros, so I promise you guys this one is not going to be long. We're going to get into gameplay real soon. I just had to show you this beautiful house, which is where our Sim grew up. This this is actually the Ward residence where famous actress Judith Ward resides. She's actually inside. Yeah, this is Judith. If you didn't know, she comes with Get Famous. She's a famous actress and she's at the nicest sim. She does, however, have a daughter called Julia. I know Julia's looking very alpha and Judith, not so much. I wanted to keep Judith in her iconic form, at least for the first episode. She will be getting a makeover at some point. But yeah, this is Julia Ward, Judith's daughter. She is currently pregnant. That baby bump is a very interesting shape. She's in her second trimester and and yeah, she's gonna be giving birth very, very soon. Now, Judith isn't the worst mom. She isn't the best, but she definitely isn't the worst. They actually have a really good, like, friendship. Their compatibility is amazing. So they're pretty close, but Julia really wants to move out of the house. She wants to move out of Delso Valley, move somewhere quiet to raise her baby with her partner, Glenn. They are in a relationship. They're not married or engaged or anything. They also have amazing compatibility, which is amazing. Yeah, these two are together. Glenn hasn't met Judith and Julia hasn't met Glenn's parents. So we're gonna have to do like an in-laws meeting at some point, maybe in this episode actually. But yeah, Julia's going to be moving out. She doesn't wanna stay in the mansion anymore. She wants to make her own money, raise her own family, and not have to rely on Judith and her money. So we're gonna be starting with like starter funds. Maybe take like 20,000. So let's do it, let's move out. I told you the intro wasn't gonna be long. Oh, we need to visit the gynecologist. We'll do that once we've moved out. Okay, split and move from household. I think it's so cool because Delso Valley is based on LA and San Sequoia is based on San Francisco and they're both in the same state, so Judith will probably visit quite often. Why are you not splitting and moving from household? Okay, I'm gonna have to do this with Manage Worlds. By the way, I am playing in a save file. This is the Sweetie Wright save file. I'll have it linked in the description. So we have brand new lots, brand new townies. Now let's split you guys out. We are going to give you 20,000. That's starting funds. Before we go there, I do want to show you guys something. I started building this like Scandinavian family home before the pack came out and um, I only did the outside because I knew doing the outside would take me ages. I've also done the floor plan. I'll put the shell on the gallery if any of you guys want to decorate it yourselves. The outside's already been done. I haven't landscaped or anything though. This is what it's looking like. I think I'm gonna do a video, if you guys wanna see it, I'll do a video of me decorating it and doing the outside and stuff with all the new objects that comes with the pack. I might even change some windows because I know we got some new really cool windows. So if you guys wanna see a video on that, let me know in the comments. This will be the house that we eventually move into. Hopefully. We're gonna have to save up because already, the lot value is 22,000 and there's nothing inside. So we're gonna have to save up a lot of money to move here. But yeah, my original ID is in the description if you wanna download the shell and decorate it yourself. This is the starter home we're gonna be staying in for now. We're renting it. It's super cozy. Um, I should probably invite over Glenn and ask him to move in. Oh my gosh, we can plan a stay over. Stop it. Already? There's so much to explore. This pack is insane. But I'm just gonna play organically, see what happens. Oh, Glenn's already here. Okay, let's ask him to move in. Share travel stories. Oh yeah, by the way, Julia, since she was like raised with a very rich mindset and didn't really have many problems, she is really into traveling. So she's been to so many different places, Mount Kamarebi, Sulani. Oh my gosh, Glenn, this is Glenn and his parents. Sorry, I'm like 
going on a tangent from one bit to another. This is so chaotic already. But these are Glenn's parents who will be meeting later, maybe having a little get together with Judith. But right now it's Julia and Glenn time. They are officially moved in. But as I was saying, Julia, she is really into traveling. She's been all over the world. And even though she's having a family, she doesn't want to have to give up something she enjoys. But traveling's hard when you don't have much money, so she's gonna have to learn the hard way. She's definitely not the most money smart. Glenn's gonna have to teach her a thing or two about that. Speaking of Glenn, let's talk about him. He grew up a very average life, like he's not a celebrity son or anything, not super rich or wealthy. He grew up with his parents, he's got good compatibility with his dad and amazing compatibility with his mom and yeah he is Julia's boyfriend so now they're officially moved in I'm actually going to assign each side of the bed to you guys I should probably get you guys like a job too for Julia I'm thinking she becomes a doctor so if the kids become too much we can just escape and go to work by the way I'm planning to have a lot of children so be ready for that we're gonna have so many we're gonna fill this house full of babies okay doctor that is what you're gonna be. And then for Glenn, I don't really want him to have a traditional career. He's gonna make robots for companies. So he's gonna uh, use the robotic station and make robots that he sells to companies. So he will work from home and be like the main caregiver for all the children while Julia is at work. But speaking of, we should probably get a robotic station. Are those super expensive? Oh yeah, that's like all of our money. Oh, okay, we, uh, should I get it? I would love for him to have an office, but that's just not an option right now. You know what, I'm just gonna get it. So we could get started with that. Now we only have a hundred simoleons. Oh, if we wanna do the dinner, we're gonna have to get more seats at the dining table. So it will be two parents and Judith. So we need three more seats. Oh my gosh, these chairs are so expensive. We'll use these ones for now. Okay, should we do the dinner first? You know, no, let's go to the, oops, wrong button. Let's go to the gynecologist first. See what baby, oh, we can't. Can we even make food? Oh my gosh, look at the little nursery. I'm so excited for this baby. Okay, we're gonna have to sell like this cute little chair that we have in our room. <gasps> the sleeping bags, stop. There's so much to look at. There's so much to see one step at a time we don't even have money for food let's relax i'm gonna send both of them to the gynecologist and then we will come home and make a meal and have a little mini dinner party so they can meet each other's parents what are we having we are having <gasps> A little baby girl. Oh my gosh, we're having a little girl. That's so exciting. Okay, you really want to cook? We will do that. But first, let's plan a dinner party. Oh, there's new social events. Family reunion. This, is this a family reunion? No, this is not a family reunion because they haven't met. Oh, we could do a baby shower. We need friends. We need friends to do a baby shower. Let's just do a good old dinner party. We'll make it gold. YouTube will be the hosts and... Oh wait, we can't invite freaking Glenn's parents because we don't know them. Okay, we're just gonna have to do it kind of colloquial and not make it a formal event. Let's go and serve, um, you don't really have the best cooking skill. Let's make some vegetable dumplings while Glenn invites over his parents. And then once you're done, you can invite over Judith and we can have a meal. Oh, look at all of Julia's milestones. She had her first woohoo. Julia got a job in the doctor career. She fell in love with Glenn and started a romantic relationship with Glenn. She wants to get engaged, which I mean, that could happen, that could happen. She also wants to get a promotion. Oh, Judith's already here and she is going to have her baby soon. Judith, do you wanna join? I know cooking's not your thing, but it would be nice. Oh, let's introduce you to Glenn. Where is that option now? Uh, I'm gonna have to find everything because I have no clue where anything is. Is it in gossip? Other sim, talk up another sim. Let's talk up Glenn and then Glenn, where are you? You're outside with your parents. Let's get you to do the same for Julia. Uh, Judith is coming to introduce herself. Is Judith being nice? Oh, what's going on? First pop up, like a breath of fresh air. Looks like Glenn just befriended a nature enthusiast. Nature enthusiasts are passionate about the natural world sims live in, which can make them super fun sims to hang out with. Okay. In terms of sim preferences, would you say that Glenn likes nature enthusiasts? 
I mean, we just started the game. This is kind of sudden. I'll say yes, because why not? Did you finish the food? Don't take a serving. Let's call to meal. Everyone, come and sit down and eat. Linda is introducing herself to Julia, which is great. I spoke with Julia and find her quite pleasing. Oh my gosh, she likes us. Everyone's sitting around the table. It's kind of awkward though, because no one's really talking. Okay, what's our compatibility with Linda? <gasps> Amazing compatibility. Same with Arthur. We have better compatibility with Glenn's dad than Glenn. And you have good compatibility with Judith, which is good. Okay, things are going well so far. Julia and Judith's little family just got a whole lot bigger. Oh my gosh, what's this? New family dynamic, jokesters. Would you describe the family dynamic between Linda and Glenn as being jokesters? Sure. Two pop-ups in the span of like 15 minutes. That's a lot. Oh, Glenn wants to have a child. Don't worry, she is on on the way and you would like to kiss someone i can definitely make that happen you really want to oh you want to listen to some cottage core music i don't think we have a speaker anywhere oh why are you guys just in the bathroom go and socialize why is that me though oh we should have had a barbecue for summer vacation day six it is currently summer we are going into autumn though our baby's gonna be born in autumn Okay, yeah, it's getting late, guys. I'm gonna send you all home. Oh, look at you two flirting across the table. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks for coming over. Is Judith still here? I think Judith left as well. You want to go for a swim? No. Come and look after your pregnant girlfriend. Ask to feel the baby. This is your first night together. Let's make it a little special. I'm surprised there aren't twins in there because that bump's pretty big. He also really wants to kiss her, so let's go for it. I think both of them really like affection if I'm not sure. Oh yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, they both really like affection, which is good. Uh, you're going to bed and you, uh, you're not really that tired, but I'm gonna send you to bed anyway. Let's also auto light all these lights. Actually, I might keep the living room light on just so the game isn't like super dark. I think the first night was very successful and the baby should be born very, very soon. Maybe even today. I do think, yeah, you have work in two hours. We might actually just go into work with her. Oh, it's a holiday. Oh, but we do need the money. Uh, we might end up going into work. Glenn, do you want to wake up and serve us some breakfast? I really want to meet our neighbors. I don't think we're going to do a baby shower for this baby, but for the next child, 100%. We just need some friends first. Bro, he's making you breakfast. He tries to do something nice for you and you just disregard it. Oh, do you know who I'm excited to meet? Freaking Kyle. The neighborhood drug dealer, are you kidding me? I should probably say that I am not usually someone who plays a happy family. I love chaos and I love drama. So do expect that from this let's play. But right now it's very wholesome. I'm enjoying the wholesomeness. But don't worry, there will be some drama and chaos. I don't know how. I don't know when, but I'm always open to it. Okay, so this is a holiday and we really need money. How about you come and work on making something? Oh, why don't you make a toy? Oh, we need some robot salvage parts. Can we buy any? We don't have a computer. So that's a no. Okay, we're gonna have to just do some tinkering then. But let's have a look at this world real quick. I saw Glenn wanted to go swimming. I'm guessing this is the swimmable area. It's really nice. It's just like a massive pond in the middle. <gasps> there are people swimming over here. Who are you guys? <gasps> I thought she was naked for a second. I was about to say demonetization. And we've got, oh, this is a cute little sitting area. A nice little park. We've got a child walking over there. Oh, this is the part of the world where you can like go for walks. Yeah. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this. It kind of reminds me of the one that comes with Snowy Escape that I never use. I used it once when the pad came out and that's it. <laughs> oh, the splash pads. I mean, I don't know how often I'm gonna use this stuff, but it's cute and it's nice to have in the world. There's our future home across the street, but let's get back to you guys. Oh, do you know what I really love with this update that you can see the skill that they're getting up? Oh my gosh, you guys are flirting. I might just send you into work. Go and get us a little bit of money. Oh my gosh, Judith. Judith wants to become Glenn's best friend. I mean, on Glenn's end, being best friends with your mother-in-law is a pretty, it's a good thing. Okay, let's become best friends. That is so random. <laughs> Julia's gone to work over there. Work hard, honey. And now Judith 
is just here. She hasn't been mean once to Glenn, which is surprising because Judith is a mean sim. I guess maybe because of their compatibility. Okay, we found some more uh, robotic parts. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a toy. Maybe we could give this to our daughter when she ages up. Okay, that's quite sweet. Whoa, Judith! She got her cheeks out for everyone to see. Look at this icon, like... Who, oh my gosh, she looks naked. This must be really deep water. The house is on stilts. Is that a, no, it's not an interactable house. Oh, imagine if you could live on the river. That would be really cool. Oh no, you have been dazed. Stop working before you electrocute yourself and die. Why do you go take a nap? Oh, mom is calling. Let's go and answer. Probably checking in on us, asking about our first night in the house. Julie is home and she brought home like no money, but it's something. Glenn, I'm gonna get you to go and rest because you are dazed and julia judith is calling you hey friend i was wondering if i could stay over at your place for a few days let's hang out and have some fun judith she's so clingy i mean we don't have a spare bedroom that's the only problem i guess she can stay over but where are you gonna sleep oh she's here she's got a suitcase of course it's the pink one hey judith welcome how long are you staying for okay four days not bad i don't think i'm gonna let you stay here actually once the baby's born we're gonna need some help so i appreciate you being here can i set up a little tent for you outside no i can't let the judith ward sleep in a tent i guess we could get like a murphy bed or something how much are those oh murphy beds are expensive oh i can't even buy the cheapest bed in the game all I could buy is a sleeping bag. A toddler sleeping bag. Why did I say you could stay over? We literally have no money. Oh my gosh, my game's frozen. No, that scared me. Why does that always happen? Is it just me that's happening to you? Anytime I go into build mode, my game freezes when I go back into live mode. But it doesn't crash, which I'm very grateful for. But I don't know why it freezes like that. That's so weird. I'm going to save just in case. Yeah, Judith, there's literally nowhere for you to sleep. Oh my gosh. <gasps> ask for blessing to marry oh okay new family dynamic difficult when it comes to authority some younger sims just do not know how to respect their elders and it's certainly looking that way between judith and julia family members with the difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more often the younger sim will be less likely to follow the rules or demands of the older sim and the younger sim will complain to the older sim more often would you say that judith and julia have a difficult family dynamic <gasps> That's quite interesting. Okay. Maybe Judith feels that way because she sees how Julia lives and thinks that she could live a much nicer lifestyle. Julia doesn't care. She wants to live this suburban mum life with Glenn. And Judith doesn't really like that. Even though she really likes Glenn, she doesn't like the choices that Julia's made. That's why their dynamic is difficult. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, you really need to pee. Go pee before you sleep. Yeah, Judith is mean. She is showing her true self. All right, Judith's gone to go and <laughs> swim in the lake again. BD, Judith, we are gonna go to bed. Um, We can fast forward super fast, even though Judith is in our house, which is great. Oh, I totally forgot to mention in the beginning, since Judith is this massive celebrity, she has a lot of award shows. So I'm thinking sometimes we take our family to the all like accolades to support judith because you know we're her family those usually happen on a sunday so yeah sometimes on a sunday we'll go and attend be moral support for judith it's officially fall and you have work in an hour do i want to go with you to work you know even if you go into labor that is fine with me you're going to be at a hospital and i do want you to get promoted at some point so we'll go into work we're not going to focus on the doctor career but I thought it would be nice to have some sort of active career so we could leave the house sometimes. I feel like having children, having a family, you are stuck in the house a lot or you don't really leave the house often. So having an active career is a nice way to see a new environment often. Now you two are hanging out, talking. I still can't believe you and Judith are best friends. Oh, look at her. Thumbs down for what? What the freak is this? 
No. She wants to flirt with Glenn's dad? No. Julia, you are for the streets. Oh my gosh. What the hell is wrong with her? I can't. No. And I can't even cancel it because the update or some update a while ago took away the option to cancel once. Okay, we're going to join you at work, but I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm confused. I guess her and Glenn's dad have such good chemistry that she just wants to flirt with him. I know I talked about chaos and drama, but <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Julia, you are wild. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're at work. We've already completed one of two with our promotion task which is attend an active work day we're just gonna go through this real quick let's uh greet some patients oh we really need to pee does that mean we're gonna go into labor real soon how is one of our tasks to have a cup of coffee oh my gosh we can ask about her salary that's too soon oh by the way what do you guys think about the new pie menu I think it's pretty cool. It does take me a while to like find out where everything is, but once I get used to it, I will be able to do it so easily. We've got to discuss work. So why don't you go and do that? She still wants to flirt with Arthur. Like that's not going anywhere until it's done. Okay, Julia's work day will end in an hour. We're almost done with work. We need to have another cup of coffee. We're going to be buzzing in a second. Okay, we made some money. Not much, but it's something. We are home. Oh, and Lynn is here we probably shouldn't get too close with linda you know i'm gonna have to keep an eye on her when it comes to arthur because she could autonomously flirt with the man and destroy linda and arthur's marriage and her own relationship like you can make things very very messy very quickly oh we're in labor should we have the baby at the hospital we just came from there you know what i'm gonna send you guys there judith you stay home and look after the place while we go and give birth oh i don't have any baby names oh i wish i could ask you guys you guys leave leave some future baby names down below like for future children now this is a girl i don't know if i want this baby to have julia's last name or glenn's glenn's last name is story i think if we turn this into a legacy having the generation's last names being story could be cool so i'm gonna change it to story i'm just gonna randomize some names miracle miracle story stop why is that kind of cute are they the type to name their child Miracle? Maybe Julia. You know what? Sure, Miracle. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys had a baby. Where is she? Oh no, you were born in the boring bassinet. I wanted you to use the new one. Why is that not a milestone well it is it just hasn't unlocked yet okay miracle i'm gonna put you in the nursery oh my gosh look at you you have what color eyes do you have you have are those green eyes let's go and say hi what are you doing gonna go and polish the high chair no come and say hi to your daughter a little miracle a little miracle baby let's show off the baby to judith show her her granddaughter oh and if we look at the family tree we can see how the family's looking look how full the tree looks already damn imagine judith ward being the founder one of the founders of a whole legacy crazy right miracle you are the first of many judith meet your granddaughter daughter judith doesn't look like amused at all she's like okay i think you will be a newborn for one day yeah it's your birthday tomorrow and then you become a infant infants are pretty pretty challenging they're a lot of work but that's what makes it fun i swear judith is obsessed with glenn she's everywhere that he is at all times swap baby milestone stories oh miracle's crying Oh, and you finished your chat box, which is good. Okay, Julia's going over to Miracle. Oh, you're already on it. I don't even have to tell you. That's amazing. I love the fact that she just throws the bottles on the floor. Chat box is worth 50, 150 simoleons. So it doesn't sell for much, but it's really cute. I think I'm going to keep it for Miracle when she gets older. How much is it to like craft one of those? It's 30 simoleons. So there is some sort of profit. I really want us to get a computer or laptop or something so we can start buying robotic parts. Right now, the only way to get it is to tinker at the station. 
oh my gosh we've got stuff in our inventory we've got the birth certificate and what is this miracles baby print stop an adorable baby keepsake from when miracle was a tiny tot i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry this is so cute and we can reminisce i'm in love with this pack <laughs> why is that so cute okay you're looking after miracle i don't know if we should age her up now or later today it is her birthday so technically we could age her up right now got a dirty bottle there so go clean that up oh you're going into work in a second i'm gonna send you alone today oh we've got diaper trash i'm gonna put it in the bin over there go make us some monies you know what i can't help it i need to age her up now how do i do this age up i need to see that beautiful infant baby cloud thing oh my gosh miracle welcome to the world okay i'm gonna randomize her trait three times one two three she's wiggly oh my gosh you're so cute oh you've already unlocked a milestone oh she's so stop smile milestone unlocked you are so adorable you're like a little angel you've got the born at hospital that's very specific born at hospital milestone every journey has a first step let's welcome miracle into the world and first smiled the world just got a bit brighter with miracles very first smile i am loving every second of this okay let's go to cast and like give you some cute clothes she looks so much like judith not julia judith your eyebrows are not the same color as your hair i don't currently have any infant cc so we're just going to be using in-game stuff for now i really like what the game gave you as your everyday outfit no this one oh that is adorable oh we got something with nifty knitting that's cool and here is our little miracle she is adorable i'm not seeing much glenn but she's only an infant you know we'll we'll see as she gets older oh we've got bills already that's that's literally all our money okay let's go pay our bills but let me see miracle in game oh she's so sweet i do want to like redo the nursery and make it look really nice but we don't have money for that our mom's texted us congrats on the new addition to the family thanks mom oh okay i need to see this put miracle in a baby carrier let me see this oh my gosh <laughs> she's just on his back oh, so cute and now we can go and do whatever we need to do can we do robotics with her on our back we can and she's just on our back oh my gosh if we get if we die and she's on our back what happens i need to know what happens look at her legs just spread <laughs> i'm gonna end this first episode here i hope you guys did enjoy and i hope you guys are excited for the series if you did make sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.